In this video, we are going to practice drawing a trend line through our data, identifying the correlation, and um, being able to write the equation uh, based on our trend line. So in this scatter plot, uh, it shows a relationship between family size and loads of laundry, and we're going to answer the questions below. Um, before we answer the questions, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and the data, the way it's plotted, and identify that as my x values are increasing, my y values are also increasing. So I want to go ahead and see that this is going up, um, so this would indicate a positive correlation. So question, or directions for number one say to draw a trend line through the data and identify the correlation. Well, we were able to identify the correlation just by looking at our data. So when we draw our trend line, you want to make sure that you are putting that line um, with enough data above and below. So if I take a look here, it may be a little difficult virtually, um, but on your slides, you are going to have the ability to um, adjust your line. So when I look here, this is probably going to be the best fit here. And it's not going to be perfect. We are going to come up with our information based on that trend line there. So from this trend line, we can identify that the data is positive correlation. So that's going to be the first answer here. The trend line shows a positive correlation. Um, the next thing we're going to do is find the slope. So when you find the slope using your trend line, we're going to take two points that fall on our trend line. So I know my trend line was not perfect, but when I look at this data, I can see a few points that do fall on this trend line. I'm going to use two points that are further away from each other so that it gives me a more accurate um, slope. So here at this point, it would be at 2,5. When I come over here, this is five. And then if I use a full point further away, I'm gonna go ahead and identify this point as six comma 14. So I'm gonna use these points to identify my slope. So two points from your trend line. So when I use the two points, I'm gonna label them as my X1 and Y1, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my slope formula. So my slope formula says it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And when I do that, I'm going to get 14 minus 5 divided by 6 minus 2. So that's going to be 9 fourths, 9 over 4. And you can also put that in the calculator and you're going to get 2.25. So this will represent my slope for this trend line. Um, the next question says that we're going to identify the y-intercept. When we identify the y-intercept, it is the same process as we've done before. Uh, we can either quickly see that we have found the slope, m, and we have a point from our trend line, 2 comma 5. So you can use point slope or you can plug this into slope intercept form to find b, the y-intercept. So when I plug this into slope intercept form, I'm going to replace y with 5 from my point, m with 2.5, x with 2, and then I'm going to solve for b. So I should have 5 equals 2.25 times 2 plus b. When I simplify, 2.25 times 2 is 4.5, and then I still need to solve for b, so I'm going to subtract 4.5 from each side of the equation. When I do that, it will cancel on the right. And so 5 minus 4.5 is going to be 0 0.5,
which equals b. So in this case, we now have found b and m, m the slope, b the y-intercept. And I know going back and looking at this graph, you may be thinking, if the y-intercept is 0 0.5, that would mean a size family of 0 would have 0.5 loads of laundry. Well, you want to understand that we are just drawing a trend line. It's not perfect. So this is just going to be a, a general equation to predict other um, values if the family size is not graphed on here we can make that prediction based on our slope y-intercept and now we're going to go ahead and write the equation so the next step is to write the equation of the line of best fit so we are coming up with our line of best fit by hand we're doing this by hand so it's not going to be as accurate by using the calculator so when I do that, I'm going to take my m and b and write this as an equation. y equals mx plus b. I now substitute m for 2.25 and b for 0 0.5. So this would be my equation for this model. And then last, we're going to answer this question. We're going to use our equation to predict when you have a family size of 10, how many loads of laundry are there? So when you read this, you want to identify a family size of 10 is your X value. How many loads of laundry? We don't know. That would be finding what Y is. So if you know the equation Y equals 2.25X plus 0 0.5, we're going to plug in 10 for X, and we're going to substitute that in using parentheses. So we're going to take 2.25 times 10 plus 0 0.5. And when we do that, it simplifies to 27.5, which is approximately 28 loads of laundry. So we drew our trend line, identified the correlation, found two points on our trend line to indicate the slope. And then we went ahead and plugged it into slope intercept form to solve for B. From there, we can use that line to make a prediction. Now you're going to try on your own.